expert, King Jordan. Jordan, how are you doing today? I'm doing pretty good. I can't wait. UK Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. And a happy Thursday evening to you folks. Hope you're ready for some NBA action here on 2K Sports. This is Brian Anderson. With me, Richard Jefferson and Grant Hill. And reporting courtside, it's Allie LaForce. So here's Dallas's starting group. Luka and Kyrie are the talented backcourt. Derek Jones is out there with Washington. And it's Gafford in at the center, locking down the middle. And for Boston, White and Brown are the two and the three. Kristaps Porzingis out there with Jason Tatum. And it's Holiday in at the point guard position. Well, if you look at the standings, for teams that are on the cusp, the playoffs have already begun, Richard. Absolutely every game counts for those teams. If you don't do your business early, you're going to have to be under a lot of stress late, and that's what's going on. The play-in system, though, has created so much more opportunity. And it's the Mavericks to start out. Tatum against Washington. Shoots over Tatum. Washington's shot is good. Guys, is ridiculous. He's just an absolute surgeon when he has the ball. This man is surgical. There is no way to slow him down when he wants to score. Now here's Holiday. White can't hit. Here's Irving. Got it. Good job in the low post. Irving. At his size, you're not going to find a better finisher than Kyrie Irving. Washington against Tatum. White the pass to Tatum. White against Irving. He's now one for two with that bucket. Just taking it right to the rim. And no one was there to greet him. Easy possessions like that literally are just a gift. You just dream of them. He'll gladly take those. One thing you can count on with this Mavericks team, they shoot threes all night long if you let them. I mean, near the top of the league for attempts beyond the arc. They do it every chance they can get. Proving he's more than just a go-to scorer. Brown also loves swinging the ball to open teammates. The Celtics have gone two of three from the floor. Here's an eight-footer. Jones with the block. Doncic against Holiday. Shot is up. A nice shot by Luka. Doncic. And how about the handles Luka has? Phenomenal at creating scoring opportunities for himself. And here's Brown for three. It's rebounded by Dallas. Yeah, and the defense has really got to tighten up on him. I mean, he's just too dangerous from the three-point line. Oh, he muscles it in through the contact. They call the foul, and he's on his way to the line. And going right through the contact, Luka has tremendous strength, especially for a guy who handles the ball so much. And about two minutes into the first quarter here. Tatum against Washington. Tatum passes to Brown. Outside Holiday. Goes back up. Boston no good that time either. Can't blame him. Just trying to take what the defense allows. Here's Doncic. Yep, that one goes. Luka. Doncic has got seven points in the game. <laughs> Their offense looking like a well-oiled machine. Here's Holiday. Sweet little floater. What a pretty shot. Quietly, Holiday has been a great NBA player for more than a decade. A nice shot by Doncic. And they may have talked about shot selection coming into this. Boston has gone one for three from beyond the arc. Knocked loose. Outside Tatum. The three. Jones grabs the board. The Mavericks leading. The three from Washington. Oh, he missed it. Making him one for two now. Outside, Brown. This one for three. Washington grabs the miss. And you just can't afford to give up that kind of look very often. Shoots. Launches a three. They get it back. Denied by Tatum. 
the all-star Tatum engaged on defense. That's a scary sight for opponents. Holiday finds Porzingis. Tatum with it. Inside, Brown. And Brown with the stuff. Just a textbook lead from pass right there, putting it right where it needed to be. Dallas calls timeout. And even in a short time in the NBA, Tatum has become the model wing for the modern NBA, RJ. Yeah, he does everything so well. Shooting, defense, playmaking, you name it, this man has it. He gives you everything you want and need in that wing position. Again, the miss by the Mavericks. That's a decent look for him. He just couldn't convert. Down low. Here's Tillman. And the rebound goes to the Mavericks. Their last meeting was in Boston, where they were unable to fight off the Celtics. And last time against this squad, they struggled to make free throws. Boston trailing. Here's Pritchard. And Washington over to help. Horford for three from distance and he can still do so many things for you big Al calmly knocking it down from distance and here's Doncic last game out 36 points for him cans it from the wing Doncic has got 11 points and that's just nasty right there guys he has a tremendous crossover here's Pritchard guarded by Doncic Pass to Hauser. Here's the three. It's hauled in by Luka Doncic. So far, rebounding has been a focal point for them. And it's Washington missing. I'd like to see him a bit more efficient. He has not been great this quarter. Here's Pritchard, guarded by Doncic. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. It goes on Tim Hardaway. Yeah, you never want to let shots at the rim go uncontested. And for the Celtics, Grant, when it comes to something like rebounding, it's a total team effort. Well, it's part of their personnel strategy, B.A. Get wings and guards that have length and toughness, which allows them to control the glass and switch just about everything defensively. Goes up and lays it in nice and easy. He gets inside right when he sees the opening. Got to attack when you have that chance. Eight second difference between the shot clock and game clock. Doncic, good. The offensive success is due in part to his quality shooting. He hasn't wasted too many looks. And that's his second foul committed with a lot of game left. You got to be careful. Second personal foul. That free throw misses. team foul. At the line, Derek White. And the second free throw is good. Dallas has gone 0 for 4 from deep to start this one. Here's Hardy. No good on the shot. Good work defensively by White. To the left side wing. Puts it up from 15. Pritchard gets it to go. Pritchard's got five points. Found some space to get off the mid-range, and he'll do damage from there if you let him. For three, Hardy. Oh, at the buzzer! Wow! I didn't think he was going to get it off in time. Oh, wow. Talk about being always under pressure. Big-time shot from him there. Well, offense is the order of the day as the first quarter comes to a close. The Mavericks on top. They're up by four. Stay with us now as we get set to bring you quarter number two after this. And thanks again for tuning in. If you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter of action so far. And let's quickly break down the game we've seen from the Mavericks. Well, they've used the fast break well to score easy points and keep the defense unsettled. In this league, it is so hard scoring in the half court, so you have to run every time you get the opportunity. On the court for Dallas here in the second. Maxi Kleba out there with Green. Then it's Kyrie Irving. Then there's Dwight Powell. And it's Hardy in at the point. Time now to hear from our reporter, Ali LaForce. Well, Jalen Brown has shown steady development over his career. He said, quote, every year presents different challenges. I think that's the fun part about basketball, that it's not the same. you got to be flexible, you got to be durable, and you have to be able to grow with the game. Brian? Ali, he keeps getting better and better. Thanks for that. Good stuff. Now here's Tatum. 
A 26-point game for him in the win against Indiana. Putting others before himself, racking up assists. Hey, I wish I played with more guys like him. Porzingis. And it goes out of bounds. That one off Porzingis. And here we can check out the story for Jalen Brown. And so it's Green who brings up the ball for the Dallas Mavericks. Four-point game. Hardy's shot Hardy. is good. And he gives up some size inside, but makes a great adjustment on the finish. Yeah, you can give up some size, but that shows you how fearless he is, willing to attack the basket no matter who Ooh. is in front of him. And we heard some coaches saying the league punishes retaliation, and that might even encourage players to instigate. Grant, you think he's got a point? You know, B.A., I think he does. I mean, if guys are creating a dust-up to try to get opposing star players thrown out, the officials cannot reward that. When talking about the Celtics, you'd have to say they have a unique one-two punch, Grant. Yeah, I mean, think about it, B.A., to have Tatum on one wing and Brown on the other, that's a potent combination. And what a luxury for Boston. They complement each other so well. Gafford, he's checked in for Dallas. Hardaway comes in for Green. Holiday from long range. Trains the triple. Holiday's got five points in the quarter. With balance and good rhythm, Holiday serves as an effective catch and shoot player. Gafford with the bucket. That'll drive your coach crazy, failing to box out. Ugh. Oh, yeah, you think you gotta stop, and it's wasted because of sloppy work in the glass. You literally practice that every day. The shot by Holiday, no good. And the defense got away with one there. I mean, that's a shot he typically makes. And the shooter had very little space on that attempt. I'm sure they'll think twice about shooting against him next time. Brown, no good. They are losing because he is struggling so bad. And he has not looked comfortable all game. They get it again. Tries again. And the bucket is good from Gafford in deep. Gafford's got his second basket. And they're doing strong work on the glass. A plus five advantage for them. White on the wing. Pass to Porzingis. Porzingis punishing inside. Porzingis. One of the tallest guys in the league. Give Porzingis the ball there and just let him work. Now here's Powell. Over Tatum. Rebounded by the Celtics. To the middle. And they're going to count that bucket. And they'll send him to the line. It could be a three-point play. Now you've got to keep Tatum off the boards or he will jump all over you. And the Celtics making a change here. Warford's checked in. Thinking back to one of the most fun runs in the NBA, Grant, those early 2000 Mavs teams. Oh, I played against those teams, and they were incredible offensively. Of course, you had Steve Rash running the point, Dirk and Finley on the wings. And the pace they played with, they were well ahead of their time. Pritchard's checked in for Boston. Second team foul. Now into the lineup for the Celtics. Peyton Pritchard. Tatum passes to Holiday with the drive. Hardaway grabs the board. And you got to give credit to the D for never giving up on the play and doing just enough to bother him at the rim. A nice shot by Doncic. And the strength of Doncic allows him to play through contact. Surprised he didn't get the star treatment there. No whistle. Holiday passes to Pritchard. And here's Horford. The shot misses. Nice D from Gafford. They have a decent advantage in regards to rebound. Oh, wasted no time on that one. And now it's an eight-point Maverick lead. And their offense tonight is Luka, Luka, and more Luka. When he's on, it's an opponent's worst nightmare. The shot by Holiday, no good. Got a good look there, but just not able to hit from the mid-range. Here's Doncic. Again, Dallas. Doncic. A bit of a heater now. He hasn't missed yeah, this quarter yet. Yeah. And Boston calls time here. Boston. Well, Boston's been a franchise that has sustained winning, Richards. Yeah, B.A., look, they've had down years like anyone, but they don't have down decades. And the Celtics, they replenish as fast as any team outside of maybe their rival Lakers. Tillman's checked in for Boston. Hauser comes in for Holiday. 
Now here's Brown. He's closely guarded. Ooh, Brown inside. Hey, he's more than just a shooter. I love seeing Brown get it done inside. He's more than just a jump shooter. From low range. Did you see where he shot that from? How about that? Keep riding that hot hand. He's been pretty much unstoppable. Here's Hauser. Yep, count it. Damn. And force feeding the ball inside. I mean, no reason to go away from what's working. One minute left in the first half. And Doncic puts up a deep three. Hauser grabs the board. It's never easy from that distance. But we see him drill those and shoot around all the time. Whoa! Brown with a huge oh. slam! Come on, Jalen. That's just ridiculous. And that was our AT&T 5G Slam Cam, bringing you the sauce. Now Doncic, 24 points for him. A quick shot there, it's off target. Here's Pritchard, guarded by Doncic. Another shot. Out to Horford, launches it. Horford from range. Nice to have a big man you can count on to hit that shot. Makes the offense much more diverse. And Doncic launches from deep. And the ball out of bounds. The Celtics will have it. And so Brown will bring it up for the Boston Celtics. Trailing by four. Fresh off a win against the Pacers. And it's just so hard to stop them when they're scoring at that level. They were efficient and didn't let up at all. Coaches love that kind of showing offensively, especially on the road. Ooh, how sick was that, guys? I mean, he makes defenders look silly with moves like that. It doesn't go for him. Oh, what a performance by Luka Doncic. He has been the story for Dallas. 11 points in the quarter. He's on fire. Well, now a minute to check in with Allie LaForce. She's courtside. Hey, Allie. I'm here with P.J. Washington. P.J., what will be the key for you guys defensively in the second half? Uh, not letting them get easy routes to the basket and uh, contesting their shots, rebounding, and uh, not letting them get second chance points. Comes back to the fundamentals, guys. Thanks very much, Allie. We'll be back soon to start the second half of basketball. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Welcome back, everyone, to the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Some big-time action already in this one. I'm Ernie Johnson, along with Kenny the Jet Smith and Shaquille O'Neal. Luka Doncic had a huge first quarter. He ended up with 24 points and four rebounds. And Kenny, what are your thoughts on how Dallas played? The road could be unfriendly, and they've clearly risen to the challenge. They're shrugging off the chance from the fans. Defense, you saw that. That's gone. No, no, no. They're playing their focus. And they're getting the work. They're playing with a lot of confidence. And Shaq, your thoughts on the Celtics? Well, it's been a big night for the guys off the bench so far. The scoring has given them a real spark. I think we can expect a few more minutes for the reserves than usual tonight. And that'll do it for us. The third quarter about to begin with Kevin Harlan standing by. We'll catch you on the flip side, my brother. We've got second half action for you. And if the next couple of quarters are similar to the first, this one could go down to the last possession. Boy, really an incredible game here from Luka Doncic. Yeah, tonight he's done a great job of slashing through the lane and finishing. And you love that mindset he has going at the rim. He hasn't settled for anything, and he's been the aggressor all game long. White and Brown to the two and the three. Jason Tatum out there with Kristaps Porzingis. And it's Holiday in at the one spot. And that's the group for Joe Mazzula as we begin the second half. The Mavericks trailing. Doncic up top. He's covered by Holiday. Two points. That one goes. Doncic. Doncic has got 26. And there's Luka, one of the most entertaining players in the league. Knocked away. There's Tatum with the three. 
Mavericks with the rebound. They've led by as many as 11. Doncic with it. Guarded now by Holiday. That one goes in. Doncic. Doncic has got four points this quarter. A great move. I mean, the defense has no response. Yeah, taking it right to the rim. One imagines that might be discussed at halftime. That's going to be on the film. It's hauled in by Luka Doncic. Rough start to the second half for them. Only getting one of the past four shots to fall. Oh, Jones nice one-handed jam there, B.A. Hey, little exclamation point. And so it's Boston with it. It's a five-point game. And from the sideline, let's catch up with Allie. The Celtics have terrific depth. They have a number of reserves who could start for other teams. All-star Jason Tatum said those guys sacrificing coming off the bench, I think that just speaks volumes to the commitment that we have to be our best and to playing to our standard every night. Brian? That's what it takes, Allie, right? Well, thank you. Jones, his shot is good. Few guys distribute better than Doncic. He's got good instincts for when and where to send the ball. Holiday from long range. Offensive rebound. Oh, it's blocked! It deflects off the backboard. Doncic passes to Washington. Well timed pass, and he goes straight to the bucket for the layup. And the Mavericks lead by six. Two minutes gone in this third quarter now. Dallas foul. A different look for Dallas. Kleba, he's checked in for Gafford. Green comes in for Jones. And Hardaway is subbed in for Doncic. Holiday passes to Tatum. Josh Green. The three is up. Mavericks with the rebound. Right side Green. Shoots over Brown. Pass to Washington. Tatum with a steal. And that's a foul called on P.J. Washington. Washington. That's his first foul of the game. Personal foul. Second team foul. The Celtics have gotten just 25% of their shots to fall since the half. Two for eight. Here's Brown. That one falls. Nice feed that time from Holiday. Brown's got five points now in the quarter. You see the confidence building in Brown offensively. First, it was taking over stretches. Now, it's taking over games. You know, they're really being bullied right now defensively. Eight of the last ten points have come from inside. Pass to Holiday. Here's Porzingis. Shoots over Kleba. Here's Holiday. And there's the bucket. Staying with it that time. Offensive glass getting it done. And man, does Holiday hustle out there. I mean, he keeps plays going with his activity. And Dallas calls time here. Adjustments are put. Game in every quarter of a game. I think Coach sees something here. Yeah, this is a good opportunity to get your group together and make sure everyone is on the same page. Now here's Irving. An important score for this team, averaging around 25 and a half a game. The kick out to White to the inside. Brown. Oh, look at Brown. Bang it inside. Muscling that one in. JP is a strong individual. Irving with it. Now guarded by White. White with the steal. Now the Celtics on the move. Pass to Holiday. For the tie. He squares up and sinks it. Holiday's got 11 points. In the third quarter with just over three and a half minutes off the clock. Washington outside. The deep three. And they recover it. Here's Hardaway. Connects on the foul line jumper. Hardaway's got his first two points of the night. Here's Holiday. He's got 11. Pass to Brown. Here's Brown on the drive. Second chance effort. And it's good on the layup. He's got 17. Brown's coach once told him, you have to want the rebound, and he has certainly stepped up his effort on the glass over the last few years. Irving, no good. Credit the defensive effort there, not giving him room to operate. Ooh, Tatum slams it home. And once he gets to the rim, it's fairly automatic. Nothing fancy right there, just takes his two points, moves on. Now here's Irving. Outside, green. Back to Irving, over Holiday, and Irving with the basket on the assist by Washington. Washington's got six assists now in the game. Boston has gone two for five from three since halftime. And Boston calls time here. Here they 
they come in. And some changes here for the Celtics. Tillman's checked in for Porzingis. Horford comes in for Tatum. And Pritchard is subbed in for White. Now here's Holiday. And here's Brown for three. Hardy grabs the board. The shooter thought he had enough space, but the defender was right on him. Did a great job closing the gap, making the shooter feel uncomfortable. And so Brown will bring it up for the Celtics. And Brown rising high for the finish. There's that leaping ability. Brown, he just gets up so easy. And here's Green from the arc. Nails it from three. Green. And the Mavericks lead by one. Six lead changes in a game that has a lot of character. Yeah, both sides stepping up and making big plays. The shot by Holiday, no good. Most nights this shot would have been his, but the defender gave him just enough trouble. Yep, Jim that one's good. Hardaway Hardaway's got his second basket of the game. They've John toned down Green. their three-point attack in the second half, looking to protect the lead with higher percentage shots. Brown against Green. Three-pointer. They get it back. Here's Tillman. Oh, got it off in time, but it's no good. That takes us to the end of the third quarter. What a game. Neither team giving ground. The Mavericks on top, up three. Don't go anywhere. The final quarter is coming up next on... And while we have a chance, let's go to our State Farm assist of the game. And the winner today coming from an unlikely position. It's the big fella with the sweetest pass of the day. I feel like we've seen more slick passing big man in the league today than we've ever seen. And with three quarters behind us, we'll start the fourth in what is still anybody's ball game. On the court right now for Dallas. Doncic and Hardaway Jr. man the backcourt. And it's Daniel Gafford, and it's Exum in a small forward. And this team's offensive catalyst, Doncic puts pressure on the defense every possession. Two shots. Doncic hits them both. Here's Pritchard. Outside White for three. Mavericks with the rebound. Gafford's got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. Shoots. Doncic, good. Doncic. Doncic has got 32 points. They're in strong position coming down the stretch, and he is a big reason why. Outside White. Right wing. Here's Pritchard. Off target with the three. The Mavericks leading. Gafford with the ball. Let's it fly from 18. And there's Doncic. That's good. On the assist by Gafford. Gafford's got assist number five here tonight. Trying to find a spark here. Yes, indeed. A rough stretch offensively. They could really use a basket. White, the pass to Horford. Drops in the three. You can't lose a shooter like him on the court. The ball will find its way to him, and he will drill a three each time. And here's Doncic outside. Another three for Dallas. His first triple of the second half. Can he get it going? The Celtics have gotten just one shot to fall out of three attempts of the fourth. Time called here. The Celtics decide to talk it over. You know, when Derek White came into the league, he ran the point. Richard, things have changed since then. Yeah, B.A., since transitioning into more of a scoring role as a guard, White has not disappointed. Taking more shots and seeing those scoring averages go up. Kyrie Irving's checked in for the Mavericks. And keeping us updated from the sideline, Allie LaForce. Over the break, I listened in on Jones' huddle. He likes the way they're finishing inside. Coach said when we get close, we are golden. They can't stop us in there. Let's keep pounding it as long as we can. And Allie, thank you for that. White with it. Irving picks him up. White coming through. We've seen that more than once today. An effortless basket inside. The Mavericks have gone three of four in the fourth and looking confident on offense. Here's Doncic. Again, the Mavericks good for two more. Talk about putting a team on your back. He has been dominant this quarter, and I don't think they are winning without him. Outside Tatum. 
Here's White and Gafford with the block. And Doncic launches from deep. Boston with a rebound. Porzingis has got four rebounds now. To the paint. Here's Horford. And Horford powers it home. Look at Horford just rocketing off the floor. Putting the defense on notice with a big dunk. Here's Exum. The rebound by Jason Tatum. Tatum's got his fourth rebound in this one. Jacks up a three. Gafford grabs the miss. Gafford's got rebound number nine now. What an effort here tonight. And Luka Doncic Luka is going to pick up the foul. That'll be a second foul of the game. A great job to establish position and square up. Holiday's checked in for Pritchard. We're in the final quarter play here. Three minutes in. Outside Holiday. Releases. Again, the miss by the Celtics. Dallas has gone one for three in the fourth quarter from range. Doncic against Holiday. Takes the three. Horford pulls it in. Horford's got four rebounds now. Here's White. The Mavericks pull it in. They've led by as many as 11. Pass to Irving. Takes a three. He drops it from range. And the Mavericks lead by eight. Oh, what a pretty so shot good. from Kyrie Irving. This man just has the perfect touch from any distance. Time called here. The Celtics decide to talk it over. You know, one guy who's been getting it done is Luka Doncic. He's been on an absolute tear inside. they got to figure out a way to keep him out of the lane. I don't know. Jalen Brown, he's checked in for Jason Tatum. Washington's checked in for Dallas. Jones comes in for Exum. We played just over three and a half minutes now in the fourth quarter. Jones against Brown. Takes it inside. Jones grabs the board. Gotta applaud the defensive effort. It's not easy to stop him getting in the lane like that. And that one's good. Irving. The interior touch of Kyrie Irving. Just superb at this hound to slice through the defense with an array of finishes. And that one's good. Great baskets assisted. It's a stat I really like. It tells the story of how well you are playing team offense. And here's Doncic outside. Horford pulls it in. Horford's got his fifth rebound in this one. Here's Holiday, and he drives in. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. Second. Yeah, this is Holiday's mentality. Never afraid at trying his luck in forcing the issue. And he makes both free throws. And those were big shots. At this point in the game, you can't afford to leave any points at the line. Here's Doncic. Dumped by Gafford. He turns the offensive board into a big slam. Wow, he was so well positioned there. Credit his anticipation. And stolen by Jones. And up the court they come. The Mavericks on the break. Hits the target from 18 feet. And now it's a 10-point Maverick lead. Well, when you're careless with the ball, that's what happens. It ends up going the other direction. And there's no defense for that. Live ball turnovers, they are the worst. And breaking down some numbers here, the hustle stats for Dallas. Oh, they've done a lot of damage in transition. Every time they see a chance to push the tempo, they're gone. And following that, the number of second-chance buckets they've tallied has been superb, showing no mercy in hitting the offensive glass. And it's Gafford missing. Boston's gone only one of four from the perimeter here in this fourth quarter. Holiday from long range. Mavericks with a rebound. Irving with a deep three. The shot is good. Doncic making the play. Three points. And the Mavericks lead by 11. Yeah, they blocked out the noise, blocked out the distractions, kept on grinding, and this is their reward. All oh, road wins. They're just so sweet. 
They're just so sweet. Do you know why? Because they are so hard to come by. 29 seconds left in the fourth quarter. And Doncic launches from deep. Orford pulls it in. And not much left to play for at this point. Hey, you give it your all and let the chips fall where they may. It just wasn't their night. The mid-range is not an issue for Brown, and it's just another weapon in his arsenal now. Jones finds Doncic. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Doncic. Substitution on the court. Outside White. Misses the deep three-point attempt. And so it's Dallas winning this one. The the Exceptional game. effort on the road. They were ready and they were focused. Focused, focused indeed. I mean, it Please takes a strong mental team. approach to block out the distractions. The These guys stepped up 100%. All right, Allie's ready to go. She's courtside. Hey, Allie. Kyrie, the offense was clicking tonight. Can you talk about the impact of ball movement on your success? It's very important. Um, we trust each other like that on both ends of the floor, especially offensively. It makes it easier for all of us to be aggressive, and I think that we did a great job of that tonight. Um, we just got to keep it going. Fans deserve us to move up in these standings, man. We got some work to do. We got some work to do. This team is as deep as it gets. They're all willing to put the work in, guys. Thanks, Allie. Great interview once again. And that'll do it, folks. This is Brian Anderson saying thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time.